the great thrill for me is when is the manager scene. Of course, that would be because I'm on stage, but nevertheless, it starts out with just the two of us. It starts out with Monsieur Fermat, and then it then I come in, and then we have our moments, and then it builds and builds and builds in such a wonderful, intelligent way until the seven of us are walking down onto the front of the lip of the stage and singing this wonderful septet, just singing our hearts out. And this is, I'm surrounded by great singers here. You know, I have Carlotta, I have Raoul, I have Fermin, I have Piangi, I have Meg, you know. These are big singers, big voices, Broadway, right from the get-go. And I'm standing there in the midst of them and we're knocking this audience out with that. That's my favorite part of the show. That's my personal favorite part of the show. And uh, that's, a, that's a Broadway dream come true. What's my most abiding memory? Well, you can imagine that I have a lot of them. I have ones that are ignominious, <laughs> that's quite a word, but I mean, the moments on stage, you know, where things have happened that I haven't been too happy about, like uh, all of a sudden blanking out when you're trying to remember a line. I was playing one of those is, I'm famous for this, I'm famous for a few of these in New York, but over all those years, but one of them I'm as legendary as one time as the auctioneer, I just went, and you're all alone I'm up there as the auctioneer in the early days, my daughter was in the audience and I must have just, my mind must have just gone there and everything went out of my head, bang, it was gone. And all the actors on stage just turned around and looked at me. They knew what was going on, they knew I was gone. So I stood there for a while, a couple of beats, which seems like years when nothing happened. Then I started just talking. I said some very strange things. <laughs> And then I, I finally thought, I'm holding these, you're holding this uh, plug, and you go, you put the plug together at the end of your speech. And I thought that was the cue for the rest of the show to start. So I put the plug together. That's not the cue. The cue is the line, which I didn't give. <laughs> so nothing still happened, you know. So finally, the, I heard, all of a sudden, I hear from off stage, a stage manager said, hit it! <laughs> and then the whole then the whole big show starts, you know, the wonderful opening of the show starts. But so that was one and those things happen and those of other things like that have happened. But a real true great memory is the night that the big celebration when we became the longest running show in Broadway history. And they brought for that night they brought into the audience, they brought every phantom who had played it there every Raoul who had played it, every Christine who had played it, the whole road company was flown in as guests. All the big wigs were there, you know, and Sir Andrew was there, and Cameron McIntosh was there, and Hal was there, everybody was there. All of those people, which is amazing to play in front of them, and then all of our families were also there. And we were doing this huge Broadway historical moment of becoming the longest running, you know. And so that was a night never to be forgotten. And then it was a great, huge, wonderful party after that too, but uh, that was a night never to be forgotten. And uh, that's, I think that's the biggest thrill of all, that one. Now we're coming up on 25 years, so that's pretty amazing. Whew. Unbelievable. <laughs>